so Nikki K, um, suddenly announcing that you're you're leaving, uh, in your own words, why 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 are you doing that? Having already been confirmed as as Auckland Central candidate again and deputy leader last week, acting leader on Tuesday, now suddenly you're out of the game. Well, look, it's been a a, a difficult decision, but you know ultimately I had to make the right decision um, for me, and I felt that it was the end of my chapter. I um, put my heart and soul into putting myself up for um, deputy leader, and I um, I think that was the right thing to do. But obviously, um, events have, significant events have occurred, and I think it's the right time for me to leave Parliament. I don't look at life in um, you know, decades and decades ahead. I look on a more shorter timeline than that. And for me, um, I felt that my country needed me, my party needed me in terms of that deputy leader role. But it was a di different calculation um, when all of the events occurred. And I just you know, have to, had to balance up making a significant contribution to New Zealand versus maybe going off and living a little bit. And so the, the balance of the calculation changed and I've always chosen my country and my party, but now it was time to choose me. You didn't put your hand up for the leadership. You said this morning, you know, you either step up or step out. Was, you know, taking a demotion then something that was simply not an option for you, therefore it's time to go? I think the reality is I am, um, in part because I believe that National couldn't um, win under Simon. You know, I made that um, decision effectively when all of the events occurred um, to put myself up for deputy leadership. That's the right thing at that time. Um, a range of events have occurred since then. And now I've had to make a calculation, which is, is it right over the long term um, to put myself forward for Auckland Central, to be education spokesperson, and the balance of the calculation shifted for me. And without going too much into my health, what I can say to you is um, I don't look at life in probably the longer timelines that other people do. But that perspective was, was, would still have been valid before you became deputy leader. The, I guess from a public's perspective, it seems like you've become deputy leader. All these things have happened in the past 10 days. Um, you know, your own, uh, your role in that uh, has been questioned as well. And um, there is a perception that maybe you didn't want to serve under Judith Collins. You didn't want to take a backward step. Uh, maybe you were, you didn't handle the Woodhouse situation very well. And for those reasons, you're stepping down. Not at all, in any shape or form. I back Judith Collins 100% to be Prime Minister. Um, I will campaign for her. Um, and I hope that she, she's a formidable politician. I hope that she's Prime Minister. The thing that I've learned from cancer um, and the thing that might be a little bit different than other people is that, you know, I don't have the same um, perspective that others have. And I've ultimately made a decision um, with that perspective of cancer in mind. And just to address directly the elephant in the room, you have said yourself, you didn't receive any confidential information from Michelle Bogue, and you, yep. you, know, you obviously stand by that. Are you, are you stepping away now because the Heron inquiry is going to show that you might have lied? No, not at all. I have not received any confidential information. I've had nothing to do um, with that um, issue. I have, um, I have acted with complete integrity. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. The events of the last period um, were quite extraordinary and this is the right time for me to leave and it has nothing to do with anything else. I do accept that it is challenging, the timing of my retirement and, and that is what I tossed and turned over is that um, you know the, time, the timing of me um, retiring in terms of a new candidate but it wouldn't have been the right thing to take up the space of someone else potentially in Parliament if my heart was not 100% there. What do you plan to do with your abundance of free time? Well, most of my adult life in politics and public service. So I am looking um, forward to having a little bit of a break. I hope to 
spend a bit of time on the barrier, um, where that is my um, spiritual home, if you like. Um, and then, you know, I will, I will just work my way through it. As I said before, because of the nature of um, breast cancer, I just don't, I'm not at all worried about the future. I feel very at peace and very happy. Um, I think I've had an amazing um, time in Parliament and I've contributed a lot, but now it's time for the next chapter. You know, I love people and um, I love helping people and I will, I will miss the extraordinary power that you have to make a difference in, in, in people's lives. You know, a lot of people thought that you were a potential leader of National who could really reach across the middle and take votes off Labour, which is essentially, you know, the equation that you have to win. Yeah. People even thought, have even described you as a, a Labour MP mm -hmm. in National. Well, that is unfair. It is unfair. I, I'm certainly, I'm liberal, blue-green, but I'm centre-right. Given your, your ability to reach across and appeal to centrist voters, did people push you to consider putting your hand up for the leadership? Some did, absolutely. Some did. Um, but the reality is, and I know that it's hard for people to sometimes see this, but um, whether it was, you know, potentially Todd standing whether it is me making it clear to Judith that I think she'd be the best leader. I have tried all the way along to do what I think is best for a party in the country. Me leaving now is me doing what's best for me. And this is what I've learned about life. Um, you know, you can't know what is around the corner. All you can do is act in, in the best way possible. And that's what I've tried to do. So when did you decide, Ben? step away yesterday what so yesterday i made the decision to to um to leave i though i must say when i walked out of the caucus room and i came down down the parliament you know sort of along the parliament forecourt and i just felt this overwhelming sense that now was the time for me to leave i've always said you never ever want a seat warmer you've got to have people that are a hundred percent and this it was a very much I just knew 